Well, hello. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that there's a certain aesthetic that I like, a certain type of pen. Uh, I call them my slim black pens. The pen I have for you today is a slim black pen, and I'm pretty excited about it. This, this is a Geha 722. So I'm going to give you my first impressions. All right, so uh, this is my Geha 722. Uh, as, as you can see, it is indeed a slim black pen with a silver cap. And perhaps you can also see right here, the ink window. I kind of like that. That's a nice touch where you can tell the ink level even if the pen is capped. Take a closer look here. Besides the ink window, come on, let's focus. We've got Geha, some dots, and Made in Germany. Uh, striations on the cap. Uh, oops, that's upside down. There we go. Geha lined up with the clip, so that would make Fig Boot happy. And nothing on the other finial. Uh, this is a piston filler. So unlike uh, another Geha that I reviewed a while back, I'm not going to have any issues over the fact that they had their own proprietary cartridges, because I don't need them. Uh, this is a kind of a 70s looking thing, maybe late 60s. I'm not sure when it's from. Uh, it's supposed to have a reserve tank, but uh, I can't get that button to push. And I really don't want to force it, so uh, we'll see. Maybe after it gets a little ink in it, it'll work. But they, they always came with a reserve tank. What has me excited about this nib... Uh, can you even read that? I can't even read it, but it's an oblique broad. So I'm excited to try out an oblique broad nib. So the ink I'm going to try it out with is this one, whatever it is. Purple. Wisteria. Alright, I had to go look up the Japanese name for that. Fuji Musume. Of course, it's got one. It's in one of those goofy sailor bottles. Imagine that sailor ink in a sailor bottle. But uh, I'm not a fan of this bottle. And I took the insert out, which is why I can insert the nib. One. Lots of bubbling. Two. And three ought to make a nice full fill. And of course, I always love the smell of Sailor Ink. Just brings back memories. I, I don't know why, but it always is that smell is forever associated with the Olean Library in my brain. Olean, New York. Why? I don't know. But there it is. <laughs> Haven't been in that place in decades. Alright, so this is the Geha 722 with an oblique broad nib. The ink is Sailor. Gentle. Uh, Fuji Musume. Which kind of went off screen there. Oh, and I just noticed that the first impression on the facing page, I never identified the ink. That's awkward. Uh, I'm seeing a little bit of a color change, and I was, I'm trying to remember if I've noticed that with the sink before. I haven't written with it in a long time. Uh, I tried finding it in my pens and use notebook, and it's not in there. So uh, it may have been a while since I wrote with this ink. Uh, as far as flex, not 
what I'd call a flex nib. Definitely has some. And of course, being an oblique, it means it's cut at an angle, so it's got uh, some line variation, wetness and flow. I think it's pleasing. Um, smear test. Eh, wettish. Uh, reverse writing, which doesn't always go well with oblique nibs. Yeah, that's scratchy and gross. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. And I think it did very well with that. One other test that I always like to do. Okay. Not doing so well at the shirt pocket test, although I've got the camera a little too zoomed in for that test. Um, but on the whole, I'm pleased with this pen. This is very 70s looking, very attractive, and uh, just seems to write... Well, it just seems to write extremely well. I, I'm enjoying that oblique broad. I, I kind of want to stop filming and go right with it. <laughs> but I'm doing a batch film of a bunch of videos, so got to do at least one more. So uh, anyway, want to thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.